Hello everyone and welcome to another Tamagotchi Smart video. This time I'm going to be talking about the Tamagotchi Smart just again briefly since it's been about a year since the last Tamagotchi Smart release and with this year's release of the Tamagotchi Uni it's now considered a kind of like a, an older model as in it's not the the current most recent release for the Tamagotchi Color series. So First of all, you can see that I'm running my One Piece one because I am now into One Piece really very much aggressively into One Piece. So I'm running my One Piece Tamagotchi Smart and it kind of made me fall back in love with the Tamagotchi Smart. Now while I do absolutely adore the Tamagotchi Uni, I feel like it's a great step ahead for the Tamagotchi franchise and I do like the fact that they've added wireless capabilities and the fact that you can go online and get updates and participate in events. It's something I really like about the Tamagotchi Uni. So when I picked up my Smart again I was like, can I still enjoy the Smart now that the Tamagotchi Uni has improved on so many functions and features that the Tamagotchi Smart did or didn't have? So I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that yes, I still very much adore the Tamagotchi Smart. It is kind of a pain that it uses micro USB rather than USB C, as USB C is pretty much everything else that I have except for my Vital Brace and my Kindle, which all use micro USB. But other than that, it still holds up fairly well. I do enjoy it. There is still that bit of weirdness that is the fact that there is a step counter functionality. But other than, now I've got to remember how to get to the clock, other than the step count being on some of the clock faces, it's not actually used for anything other than that. And that's something that I really appreciated from the Tamagotchi Uni, as they added a functionality where you could go for a walk with your Tamagotchi character. So that's the sort of thing that I am missing from the Tamagotchi Smart. However, other than that, I really just do appreciate the, the Tamagotchi Smart still. I do like the fact that the content you can just download from the cards and it's they're not, except for obviously the uh, purchasing window of whether or not they're in print or not, other than that there's no uh, kind of like a, a, a window that you have to download the item during. On the Tamagotchi Uni, they'll release lots of different items, but you actually have to download and use them during a specific window. If you participate in an event, you don't get the reward straight away, but you have to go in and claim the reward, and you only have about a week or two to actually claim it, which is something that has caught me out. I got too busy to run a Tamagotchi for a while, and I missed the window to get the rewards for the event that I did participate in. So that was kind of a shame. With this, now I've got all the smart cards, I can kind of download them whenever I see fit and there's no time limit to uh, to activate them or what have you. So that's something that I do appreciate, that the fact that it doesn't have online capabilities means that I'm not missing out on anything. And there's also that concern about the Tamagotchi Uni, how one day Bandai will decide not to support it anymore and the servers will be down and you won't effectively get to use any like any of that online functionality which is a shame, but it will probably happen in the next few years. Tamagotchis don't tend to have long lifespans in terms of their releases. The Tamagotchi Smart was only about a year before it stopped being released, and then the Tamagotchi Meets app was shut down only a few years, so yeah, I'm, I'm not super hopeful. But in terms of the functionality here, it is nice to, uh, to have something that is absolutely complete. It says app, but it's actually only an in-game app. It's not like a real app. It's where you buy items for your Tamagotchi, such as the special food from whatever the card you have installed. So, and that all those ones are free, which is cool. And then, of course, there's various other food choices as well that aren't unique to whatever card you have. So that there is that. There's no uh, functionality you need an app for, so it's effectively the same forever. There is, of course, the rechargeable battery, which do deteriorate over time. But other than that, it's a standalone thing. 
You don't even need to connect to anything to unlock anything like you do with the uni. And it's it, it's more or less a pretty complete Tamagotchi release. And it's something that I'm just a really big fan of. I just really, really like the Tamagotchi Smart and all its functionality and all the quirks. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy that I have the Smart. And I'm really glad that I gave it another shot. When the Tamagotchi Uni released, I was like, well, I guess I'm never going to run a Tamagotchi Smart again because the Uni's out. But I'm happy that that is uh, not necessarily the case. I've even enjoyed running my picks since the Tamagotchi Uni released. And that's not to say that the Tamagotchi Uni is not good. It just means that it's not so good that I can't just return uh, to the older models. And I don't find myself returning to older models that often, but I am with the Tamagotchi Smart. So yeah, I would absolutely still say that the Tamagotchi Smart is worth picking up. I don't think that they have increased in price too much yet. But keep in mind, they are more or less out of print. They're not being released anymore. So if you haven't already, I would recommend picking it up. Especially if you like things about the uni, but you kind of want more. Especially if you like the touchscreen. Like, for example, the touchscreen allows you to do things like pat your Tamagotchi, which is really cute. And that's that feature is something that I've surprisingly missed from the Tamagotchi Uni. While I don't necessarily miss the touchscreen, like that, that, that is annoying. Uh, at, at times, I mean, that the touchscreen is annoying. I do miss the fact that you could just cuddle up to your Tamagotchi like that. That That's a really cute feature. And also, uh, something that I will always do on the Uni is that I press the middle button to open the menu, but it doesn't open the menu. It opens the... Uh, it, it changes the room. So that's something that I never got used to on the Uni. I don't know why, maybe it's because there's just one button, but I feel like the controls on the Tamagotchi Smart almost dropped that. The Tamagotchi Smart are more intuitive. Except for the fact that there's uh, sometimes the touchscreen's not super good. However, when I first got the the Tamagotchi Smart, specifically this one, the touchscreen seemed to have some issues with it. I don't know why, but I uh, I was kind of struggling with using the touchscreen. But then when I picked this up again, because... One piece is my is my only brain cell at the moment. I uh, I was happy to find that the touchscreen was behaving itself weirdly enough, even though it was really hard to use just a little bit ago. So yes, the Tamagotchi Uni. Sorry, sorry, not the Tamagotchi Uni. The Tamagotchi Smart is still something that I would recommend, even when you can still get the Tamagotchi Uni. Of course, I'd recommend both, and I still would say that I do at the moment recommend the Uni above the Smart. I still would say that the smart's got a lot of uh, a lot of love left to give, and it's pretty fun. And of course, if you like any of the specific smart cards, those are also good as well. And of course, you don't need to use the smart cards with it. It's not like the Digimon Vital Bracelet. You can still just use the standard characters. You just won't get things like the uh, this Frankie from One Piece. But in any case, those are my thoughts on the Tamagotchi Smart. Yes, I would still absolutely recommend it. But let me know your thoughts, comments, questions, etc, etc in the comment section below. Like this video for One Piece. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, if you have subscribed, tell your friends, tell your neighbours, tell your enemies. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!